Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Pan30. I'm going to show you how to spin some funds. All right, first thing we're going to do is go to composition, create a new composition. I'm going to rename it as text. 30 frame per second, 1080p. What is that? Six seconds. Click OK. I'm going to type in something. Select the type tool. I'm going to scale this up, so I'm going to click on the layer, press S and scale it up here. And of course, I'm going to arrange it, align it here. And now we're going to crop with this, you know, the composition. So I'm going to go from here to the end. From here, we're going to go to composition and crop comp. Okay, from here, we're going to create a new composition. Go here, click, and we're going to type in pattern. And this is going to be 1080p. Click OK and just drag in the text that we created. Click on the layer, press the letter R to rotate, and we're gonna type in 90 degrees. And we're gonna go to the effect and presets and type in motion tile. It's right here, motion tile, I'm gonna double click. And we're gonna increase the output height. And I'm also gonna scale up the text a little more. So I'm gonna go with um, 81 point two okay it's gonna look something like this and okay so we're gonna make a new composition go here again i'm gonna rename this as cylinder and i'm gonna bring in the pattern this looks like this and we're gonna type into the effect and presets cylinder and just double click and it's gonna add the you know effect on the pattern we got the rotation here i'm gonna type in here minus 90 degrees and you can also rotate the rotate X. There you go. I'm going to go to the light and increase the light height and light intensity. Eventually you can adjust the shadows. You can do all kind of fun stuff with it. There you go. So how do we animate this? Uh, so we got the rotate Y on zero. We're going to click on the stopwatch and, and I'm going to pull this all the way to the end. And I'm going to type in here minus one. So basically this is 360 degrees minus 360. I'm going to hit play and there you go. And yeah, this is how we make a super simple spinning typo in After Effects. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.